Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back. Matt and Ez hanging out in hyperspace, and there's a game coming out. Star Wars Hunters looks pretty cool. We did a little reaction to it. Matt, what are your thoughts on this game? How's it, how's it look? So, you know, initially, this has been kind of an interesting development, to say to say the least, Star Wars Hunters. When it was announced, I believe it was Nintendo's sort of spring or even their, their E3 um, Nintendo Direct that they do, which is just a series of games. Here's all the games that are coming out. They posted on YouTube uh, and, like, I think aired on Twitch and some other places as well, IGN, stuff like that. Um, and Star Wars Hunters was one that was announced in there, and they didn't really show anything. It was just sort of a teaser trailer. Um, I think it was just sort of like a saloon and it was getting shot up with like blasters and just the logo flashed across Star Wars Hunters. And we just knew it was sort of a arena battler. It's all that's competitive. All we knew. And you and I brought that up. Um, I, I know definitely I have on our podcast um, over the past few months. I've been like, man, I really hope we see something more about that. And we did. Uh, actually, we saw it. So we saw some photos of it last week and you and I were talking about this on the podcast and i was actually kind of nervous because i saw the photos and i was like "Ooh, that's like the mobile version or this looks very mobile version type of a game um and then we got a nintendo dropped the trailer uh and i think it was dropped in other places as well that's just sort of the one that initially caught my eye yeah um and it was just sort of a cinematic trailer there's there was no gameplay footage and shows a handful of cool sort of characters, um, right? That we're that we're gonna we're gonna get to here. We've got uh, Jedi, right? Who's like a droid Jedi, spelled J three D I, but you know he yeah, looks like yeah. looks like <laughs> looks like Jedi. Um, right. You've got a Wookiee whose whose name I'm gonna try and uh, pull pull up here. I had I had I had other names here um, uh, as well, but um, you know there's a handful of different kind of characters. You got a Mandalorian. You've got um, maybe like an Ugna and some sort of a, of a machine here. It's sort of an arena battler. There's a stormtrooper. There's who's... a pair of Jawas. A pair of Jawas. Yeah, Utini. But I think it's spelled U like Utini. O -O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's great. And so it's it actually it's looking more and more cool to me. Think maybe I think less initially. I on my I did a reaction on my video game channel, uh, Super Games Bros, and I said it looks kind of Fortnitey to me but i think that's just sort of like the character design um initially not necessarily the gameplay it actually feels a little bit more like i would say overwatch to me if any if you're okay. familiar if you're, if you're familiar with overwatch where overwatch is sort of it's kind of more like it plays more like a first it is a first person shooter but it's sort of like a a lane you know you have lanes you have to get to control zones uh stuff like that and that's and then there was there's a hand like a like 30 seconds worth of gameplay footage out there uh, that you can find on some people have broken down on YouTube. And that's really all we kind of see. So I think that's ultimately what it's going to be. You're going to have a handful of different characters. They all have different abilities that they can do, you know, things that are, you know, there's somebody, you're going to have somebody, you have this, I, I see a picture here of like the, you have the little Ugna inside of his, looks Slingshot. like a modified droid to Ka. Uh, yeah. yeah. It is what it looks like. Yeah, and so he's got a shield around him. So he's, I'm guessing, maybe your tank, right? You push him out. He draws a lot of the fire. He can, he can sit down there and sort of control the zone because he can take. Because he's got a shield. Um, you're gonna have some melee fighters. You've got a, you've got a Sith, and you've got, um, and you know, you have uh, the droid Jedi, right? With, the, I don't know, if he can use the Force or not, but he's certainly got a lightsaber. So he's your melee type. You've got a scoundrel. You've got a Mandalorian, stuff like that. So um, 4v4, it's coming out to mobile. Um, it was actually shown at the iPhone event, which was on, uh, which was yesterday mm -hmm. uh, or yeah. Tuesday, uh, the iPhone 13. Uh, and then it's coming. Yeah. It, so it's mobile and Nintendo Switch. But Man, uh, there's no there's no release, like no hard release date yet. Right. Just 2022 is, is what I'm looking at. So if you pull up um, and you pull this up uh, while I bring this up here, uh, Star Wars Hunters dot com. It's the it's their their um, the official website. You scroll down to the bottom. You can see all of the characters. And you're right. You've got Jedi in there. Uh, you have a character. I think it's Zena, a veteran of the Rebel Alliance and hero to the New Republic. That's legit. Right. So they all travel to this planet. It's basically like an arena and you can kind of see people maybe placing their bets back in there. Uh, 
it reminds you a little bit of, I don't know, just, just like you got like, like pod podcast or I'm sorry, pod racing that happens around the galaxy and different venues where you would go and see these things. It seems like this is one of those places where you can come watch just epic battles. Um, you have slingshot, which is the Ugna, as you said, in the droid to just rolling around shooting people. Uh, who else we have here? I think the, the, the Wookiee, is it Graz? Mm-hmm. Yep. Graz, yeah, a, a Wookiee warrior. Yeah, um, you have Reeve, Reeve, who's the Sith. Yeah. Um, yeah, you have Amara Vex, mysterious bounty, bounty hunter. Um, Ziana, right, veteran of the Repo- Rebel Alliance. That's sort of your Han Solo, right, like bl- blaster uh, thing. So it's going to it's it's gonna be cool. I mean, it's, I'm, yeah. I, I, it, it's actually, I after I saw a little bit of gameplay footage of it, I feel much, much better about it. I would have to imagine that it's coming to mobile and Nintendo Switch. I Unless they have something bigger planned, I can't see, or they have some sort of exclusive deal. May, um, I can't imagine why this would not come to PC. Okay, yeah. Because well, yeah, it's being developed by, I think, Zanga Games, who is sort of, they make like browser and mobile games. Okay. Um, so, I mean, to me, I mean, if, I mean, if, if this is a game that you could play on, I mean, it, it seems like you're able to play it on your iPad or your Android tablet, your phone. I mean, but I, I, to me, it seems like it'd be perfect to play on your computer. I mean, yeah, yeah. Which I, I hope it does. I hope it grows. I mean, it looks like it's, uh, exci- it's exciting. I mean, you got Sentinel, a remnant of the Empire, unwilling to accept defeat. It's all the things that you would want to see. It's, it's basically the what if or the fantasy play that we as Star Wars fans always talk about. I mean, I don't think I've ever thought about a like Jedi the droid. The description on this is a one of a kind droid programmed to believe that the force is with him. Programmed to believe that the force is with him. That's hilarious. So th- like the creativeness behind this is is fantastic. So whoever designed or thought of this idea should be uh, well compensated because it's it's freaking sick and I will play it and I think we'll try to do some gameplay footage ourselves. We'll have some some battles uh, maybe with some of our Council of Elder members. And I'm, I'm excited. It looks sick. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right, guys, hey, leave us a comment. Let us know what do you think about Star Wars Hunter. And as always, remember that traveling through hyperspace ain't like dust and crops. 